Cascado and the Late Show Band, everybody. Uh, folks, I spend most of my time right over there auditioning the day's finest news oboes, the most topical story violas, cellos, and bassoons, then subjecting them to a rigorous rehearsal schedule until I am ready to debut an exquisitely hypnotic and dizzying interpretation of Mahler's Fifth Symphony that is my monologue. <laughs> But sometimes I wake up under a broken baby pool in the forest, which I flip over and jam a broom handle into with some jute twine I strip from a discarded potato sack, then kidnap a ukulele playing dog from a freak show and duct tape a kazoo to a raccoon's mouth to fire up the feral backwoods skiffle band of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Right there. That's the song I sing. Meanwhile, in fast food news, this photo has gone viral of a Taco Bell employee giving another a haircut inside the restaurant's kitchen. Okay, that is not right. Calling Taco Bell a restaurant. <laughs> Legally, it's a meat slurry distribution depot. <laughs> Meanwhile, Southwest Airlines has shown the bizarre items passengers have checked as baggage from a pool noodle to a stuffed giraffe, whereas Spirit Airlines' list included microwaved fish, loose teeth, and the will to live. <laughs> Don't need that on Spirit. <laughs> Meanwhile, yet more from the world of easily melted entertainment, in this case, a horror that cannot be unseen because Lil Wayne has responded to a failed Hollywood wax museum figure saying, sorry, wax museum, but that <laughs> ain't me. <laughs> Adding, you tried, though. Counterpoint, did they? <laughs> Meanwhile, Pepper X is now the world's hottest chili pepper, coming in at nearly 2.7 million Scoville heat units. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone knows the world's hottest chili pepper is 90s Anthony Kiedis. <laughs> yeah. That would heat up my taco. Get away now. Meanwhile, <laughs> in shoe news, or as we call it, shoes, <laughs> a running store in Paris allowed customers to steal shoes if they could outrun a professional sprinter, <laughs> namely one of France's fastest, Michael Zeze. Sounds like fun and much better than last year's promotion with an Olympic fencing champion. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's dead. <laughs> Me meanwhile, Jersey City is saying that its cops should not be allowed to smoke pot. I gotta say, that one makes sense. Might be making for some weird traffic stops. License and registration. Do you know why I pulled you over? Because I have forgotten. <laughs> if you figure it out, uh, give me a call. I'm just sitting on that patch of grass over there thinking about ducks. I love you. <laughs> Meanwhile, in estate news, the last Italian prime minister, Silvio Berlusconi, was worth around 6 billion euros, but his worthless art collection has become a headache for his heirs because the 25,000 paintings are poor quality works of little or no value. That's got to feel like a slap in the face if you're of his kids. Ah, ah. To my beloved children. <laughs> I'll leave you this, a watercolor sailboat <laughs> from the best western in Dubuque, Iowa. <laughs> to me, it represents uh, the human will to dominate in nature and a free Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, continental breakfast. <laughs> Meanwhile, New York City has just ranked below two other cities for 2023's rattiest title. <laughs> Wait a second. Third, how did we not win Rattiest City? The rats are everywhere. Every morning I get to work by lashing four of them to a piece of plywood and surfing them down Broadway. 